so we are yet another step closer to finally having a nice creator PC. You can see some of the components there in the background as I'm still waiting for one or two final parts, but we're still missing a chair. So it's finally arrived guys. This is a RGB gaming chair from Gamertech. So it's supposed to have some really nice RGB lights in it. Uh, you can see a little bit there from the picture. So I'm going to be doing a video just to show how easy it is to actually assemble this chair. And let's see what it looks like at the end. The chair was packaged extremely nicely. In the package you will find the bottom, the backrest, the bottom rest of the chair, two pillows as well as a box with all the components you will need. The user manual was fairly simple showing all the parts as well as very relatively easy steps to follow. The small box included the remote, the tools and screws, the wheels as well as the height adjustment for the chair. The wheels are relatively easy to assemble as they simply pop in and after the wheels have been assembled the chair has been certified to carry a weight of 150 kilograms. There's a pressure load spring that allows the chair to move up and down with a handle that's installed in the bottom rest. To fit the up and down movement of the chair, four screws are positioned, slowly tightened by hand into the chair itself and once all four of the screws have been aligned, you can use the tool to simply ensure that they have been tightened. Once all four has been tightened, the chair has a hole that simply matches the cylinder. You simply align them and the chair balances on top. Now to fit the backrest, there are two similar screws, slightly longer in length. On each side, you have to hand tighten both the screws and once they've been hand tightened, you can use the special tool again to ensure they have been properly tightened. Lastly, install your protective covers and plug in the wires. You can now place your pillows and your gaming chair is ready to go. The gaming chair looks extremely good at night. The RGB lighting effects are extremely bright and really give such a good ambiance in your gaming room or editor setup. I was extremely impressed at all the different modes that's actually available for the chair. There's over a thousand, I would say, different modes that you can flip through for all your kinds of needs, requirements, or the theme that you're looking for to match your PC. Here are some of the modes. I've flipped through for about a minute, so you can see. I hope you find one that suits your sort of gaming requirements, and be sure to let me know down in the comment section which one you liked. I've plugged in the RGB gaming chair into a power bank. There's also a sleeve in the bottom so you could hide all the wires and leave the power bank there or you can plug it directly into your PC. For a mere $200, the RGB gaming chair is an extremely good buy and I definitely recommend it for anyone. I'm super excited today to see the final, final, final setup once the PC is installed, the back logo is lit up and just to see everything taking place together. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see the end product and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for watching.